Hello, um, I am going to do some experimentation with collision detection, ways of making it a little bit faster. Uh, I haven't actually researched this sort of thing, this is just my own sort of playing around with how to make it a little bit faster than, you know, quadratic time kind of thing. So you might be wondering why I'm making the HTML file, that's because I'm going to use HTML5 canvas for this. If it'll open, yep. Oops. Like that. Yep. So, write some HTML. Okay, now on load can be our entry point for JavaScript. It'll call main. Um, is that all we need? Yeah, that'll be for now. We'll add on whatever we need later. <coughs> okay, so let's make sure this thing works. works. Let me just close all these. Right, okay. So, uh, the first thing we need to do is set up the environment so that it it's, can work with the canvas and it's got some sort of frame loop going on. So we can have, you know, animation and whatever. When I get things, we're gonna, we're, I want to make um, <coughs> all these you know, round balls around the place that collide with each other and just, yeah, as a way to see it happen. So, we need to get the canvas. We need context, and we need to have a size for the canvas. So, we'll make that 600 by 360, so you can see it. Right, so it sets up our canvas. Um, I'll just make sure that size is right. I'll draw a border. Oh, and gotta clear the canvas every time. to do context.clearRect For some of you, this might look strange. Why am I drawing a line from 0.5.5 to, well, 
that's the width and height of the rectangle. Uh, it's because um, HTML5 Canvas actually uses anti-alist lines, not you know pixel pixelated lines. So this line width goes either side of the line. So so imagine this line of text is your line. You would be specifying this midpoint here, not like the corner, but the midpoint in there. So yeah, you need to say 0 0.5, 0 0.5, so it fills in just one pixel and doesn't sort of overlap halfway across one and the other, the one and the one next to it. So that that is why you'll yeah you'll see it's a solid line if this works, which we shall test, and it works awesome. So now we can set up our um, frame loop. <coughs> so how long do we want the frames to go for? How long should you wait at each frame? Let's go 20 frames per second. Oops. Um, yeah, so let's... We'll have like... Let's call this init... This stuff is initialization, but this in it sort of means in it the game space. Let's just call it init game. It's not a game, but you know, it's a game kind of environment. And then we want to set the game going. Process. Which will process one frame. So right now, init game has nothing to do. And process. I'll just get the process going with nothing happening, just to make sure, like, if there's any errors, if I failed at programming it. <coughs> so what I want to do is make sure it does at most this and waits less if it needs to, if it took up too much time. So start time equals new date dot get time. That gives you the milliseconds of that time from like 1970, January 1st or whatever. And end time. So all our processing stuff goes in here. So it sees how long that took. Right, and then our how long we wait equals the frame weight minus however big this is so end time minus start time but that should never be less than zero so we'll take the maximum of this that way if this is ever negative it'll just choose zero for how long to wait Yep. So interval. Yeah. Ah, oh, and um, we definitely want to draw every frame. Okay, is it that simple? I remember it being more complicated. Okay, so let's check for errors. No errors so far. All right, so we should be good to move on to making, making some objects and chucking them. Right, um, yeah, I should start a new file for this. Let's call this, um, just a ball. Have a f just a bunch of balls on screen that bounce around and whatever. It's not a text file either. Yes. So, duplicate that. So when we make a ball, we want to give it, you know, a uh, position, x, y, uh, guess the speed, gx, dy, and let's give it a radius. Oop, that's not how you do it. It's this dot x equals that, etc.
hope my time's up, so on to the next video.